Hi everyone, welcome to our week, our bi-weekly CI PM UX check-in um, and welcome um, Nadia um, to our your first meeting with the CI team. Let me, let me uh, I, I'm having a problem opening the, the agenda doc. Okay. So um, I'm probably, um, I don't know, maybe Bitika knows you better than I do. I haven't had a chance to, we had to reschedule our coffee chat yesterday. And so I would have known this already, but can you tell me a little bit about yourself and then, and then the rest of us can tell you a little bit about ourselves. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, I'm based in Warsaw, Poland. Um, and I've been at GitLab for uh, almost a year now. It'll be a year at the end of September. Um, and I've been working on the Monitor APM team, mostly focusing on metrics dashboards. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to be joining your team. I know pretty much, well, I know almost everyone. I um, actually had a chance to meet quite a few of um, designers from the CI team in person. Uh, I travel a lot, so we, we met. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to learn more about the product as well. I've been diving into the documentation and um, yeah, it's fascinating. So yeah, thank you so much for the warm welcome so far. The onboarding has been pretty smooth. Uh, yeah, I'm excited you're on the team. Um, I'll tell you real quick about myself. Um, so I uh, joined GitLab last year in October, end of October, so not quite a year yet. And um, um, I had a a, a little bit of context switching on which team I was working on. I was going to work on another team that actually I came, it ended up not getting funded and came back to CI. So I've been with CI since um, March and, uh, and I'm super excited that you mentioned having worked on dashboards because I just recently looked at some issues that have the CI label for uh, graphs and analytics um, and trying to think about how we can dashboard some details of like pipelines that could be for, um, we don't have a lot of features in ultimate or premium to, uh, tier. So, uh, we could talk more about that. Um, yeah, sure. you, um, you already know Vitika? Are you? Yeah. Yeah. We had a coffee chat. Okay. Okay. All right. So going to our agenda, let's take a look at the, uh, agenda item two there. Um, the UX, uh, needs Epic. Um, do you know what? We haven't been uh, editing this in this meeting, Vitika, in the past, but I'm starting to wonder if we should go ahead and do that. Um, and I could maybe share my screen because um, I think that, oops, we should probably start. I've not, I have not been referring to this as much as I should as the source of truth of what really is in flight because I'm going issue by issue, but uh, it's probably better for us to do that exercise in this meeting. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can. And I totally agree with you uh, because yeah, I have been pushing this a little because I myself am very lost uh, between like what I'm working on and yeah. the issues on which I had to assign myself. And at the same time, after a couple of comments, I had to unassign myself. So. I don't know what to do with those. Yeah, agreed. And um, sometimes it's hard for me, especially with tables. I get lost in the tables themselves when I'm editing them. So I'm going to open this side by side so we can see the table. Um, and then also in the editing view. Okay, so on the design work, um, on the design work, I'm going to skip through all that. We probably need to clean some of this up. So on the visualization, it is first draft. I think I should change the, was the target milestone, the, the milestone in which the issue will be implemented or the, or did it mean something else? Uh, I usually put uh, the plan milestone for implementation because that's what mentioned okay. on the issue, but. Okay. So I'm changing that one to um, 13.4, right? Um, we didn't, uh, and so this one, 
is also 13.4. The allow MR to merge when pipeline is blocked, right? I think the other one. Um, and that one, so merge, I don't know that this one is still in play for, I think I moved this out as a candidate. Oh, oh wait, this one's done. I should remove it altogether, right? Yes. Okay, so it's this here, ambiguous. That one's gone. Um, allow instance admin delete bills. I think this one's already done and released. Let me confirm. It's closed. Yeah. So that one's gone. Allow instance. Um, Mac Web, Web IDE, the preferred experience for. Um, I let me check, but I think Jason made this a 13.5 candidate. Uh I think this one I already worked on, and today I saw that the MR has also been kind of, uh, it was ah. in a, yeah. Okay. In which case, that one, 13, I wonder under comments if we should, well, I don't know if we need to mark them down or not, but we'll move on. This one, I know one of them got moved to, is this the one that's moved, that's backed into the backlog? Okay. Oh, duplicate. Oh, I this one. Link we, closed. we closed this one and, and opted for the older one, the four-year-old one. I can provide you the new link right away. Uh, All right. So the visual builder. Okay, so I'll update it here. And are you, but this is actually, this is, this one's in the backlog. So we don't even need to, Jason hasn't scheduled this yet, right? Uh, it's, a, I think it's, a, it's, it's a candidate. It's a candidate yeah. for 13.6. Okay. But if you're taking care of uh, the other one within 13.4, then this would become 13.5. Um, okay, so do you want me to? I'll just give you this link. Should I give it here on, or on the agenda? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, go ahead and put it in the agenda. All right, the agenda. Um, but do you think this might be 13.5? Because Jason still has it as candidate 13.4. I think when he comes back, uh, the reason he pushed this to 13.6 because uh, Sarah said that she could only work on the uh, first one by 13.5. Okay. All right. Then um, for our purpose, I'll just put 13.5 for now. All right. Um, explore pipeline graph, first draft. Um, this is still backlog. Okay, so that's accurate. And then Improved navigation. This one should be 13.4. There's okay. one that needs to be added, uh, which is this bring that visualization insights into regular uh, pipeline graph. All right, let me copy this to make it quick. Um, let's just copy and edit it. Um, this, this, Ah, okay. Oops. This one here? Yes. Um, it's in the backlog. Okay, candidate 13.5. Gotcha. So, oops. Um, and then there are a couple of issues on which I only had to put like one comment because those were mostly around CI rules. Mm -hmm. So, I just suggested if we could use these two words instead of this one word. So I am not really putting those here. Gotcha. Because it doesn't take a lot of effort since we're only capturing the... Yes. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to remove this text. I don't know what that is for. And so this is for 13.5. All right. Let's see what this looks like before I save it. Um,
I'll update that. I mean, I'll remove what. Let me, um, but this is after the issue is closed and not when the design is done. So all of these are correct. None of these issues are closed, but. They're not closed. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, are not closed. And so it's, you don't need to remove when the design's done, but it does make it confusing. Okay, um, first draft design added. Wait for Dev. Do you want me to put a status on this one? Um, um, I think I'll, I'll add a few more issues and I'll do that myself. Uh, I okay. think we should uh, get it, into. Okay, and is there, is there, uh, so this is everything, right, for design work? For, that's for, that you're doing uh, right now? There are some more, but I need to find, but I'm thinking okay. that um, okay. we can get to the other agenda items because okay. that. Yeah, but, but just to be clear, what the one thing that we want to make as the most important thing out of this session is to make sure we have a good idea of all the design work that's in flight now. So this is, um, I'm glad this is updated for me to get a sense of how much of it is, is already in progress and how much of it is already um, uh, designed for design is already done. Um, um, the next agenda item kind of takes us to the next part of this anyways, um, as far as the research that is in progress, right? What research is in progress, wrapping up. I'll stop yeah. sharing my screen. Uh, so for the dark visualization, all the interviews are through and uh, I thought I would be analyzing the interviews on uh, th uh, Tuesday, which was yesterday, but uh, there's a lot of work and Jason mentioned that to uh, get everything weighted for 13.5 uh, smoothly, I should be putting all the designs uh, for 13.5 by the end of this week. So I'm kind of focusing on that and there's a lot to look at. Uh, so. I have pushed the analysis uh, for that to the next week. And this week I'll solely focus, focus on all the issues on both the sides, like uh, your labels and Jason's labels. And we we'll try to put all the designs, at least the first draft, so that uh, the development team has a good idea about those ones. Um, I, okay. That, that's, that's, since I'm not that involved in it, since you're working with Jason, I mean, that sounds fine to me. Um, he, you, yeah, and, and actually it's, it's, he's out the rest of this week anyways. Um, the other thing that I think we should call out, even though it's not a formal research, is, um, is the, 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 regarding the, the graphic visualization, because you're collecting the feedback on it and also um, I think you're summarizing um, that takes a lot of time it's not an official research but it still is in my mind a, 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 a research effort in and of itself yeah. um, review um, I was thinking that we probably need to have a session and take all that feedback and do some analysis of what will be the next uh, issues that we create off of that. But I'm wondering if really that's for me to do anyways, when it's going to be probably under Jason's category or CI authoring. So maybe this is a good place for us to involve um, Nadia S. I did have, uh, like, I did ask Jason the question about how I should um, work on the, for the development on that idea and what, how should I at least make um, the stakeholders aware of what roadmap I'm trying to follow? Uh, should I be creating new stories? But I'm thinking, um, and you can tell me uh, what you think about it. Uh, I'm thinking to discuss this once in the uh, CI weekly with um, like in presence of the whole team maybe not today maybe next week because i'll be off after this meeting uh mm -hmm. and so uh, there what would happen is all the engineers might also get to weigh in on this like how would they want this to be broken down because there's so much to be done on this concept like there are many small little parts of it that have to be taken care of uh 
so right now I, i'm not sure that i am done covering all the capabilities of the yaml file itself i have to also take care of the toolbar that would go on the graph and some uh, more uh, elaborate graph uh, interactions yeah so we we probably wouldn't cover that um that's why i was mentioning that maybe we need a session we probably wouldn't cover that uh in the ci weekly because it sounds like more we need a deep dive session with engineers to 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 talk about what the just the feature as a whole mm -hmm. um and we wouldn't have time in that 30 minute meeting uh, with all the yeah. stuff on the agenda it would be a dedicated session a deep dive session um, into these are all the feedback let's talk about the capabilities um, and how we want this feature to evolve and then from there order the sequence of iterations on it um yeah. and and I was, you know, if this was going to only remain a, uh, a, a visualization, I would probably want to be more involved. But since this is going to be what we're delivering was just the initial visualization from here, it gets very interactive as far as editing. Um, uh, and I think the, the PM for CI authoring would should probably be involved in that and not me. Um, now, there is a lot of transition that's happening around that anyways, and you and I have the most knowledge about it. So we will kind of do an exception on it and, and I'll probably lead the chart on charge on it with, uh, we'll probably have both PMs and both designer in that deep dive session. And then um, probably a representative um, engineer from front end and back end. All right. Yeah, but not, but not the entire team. Yeah. I'll, um, I'll just go ahead and schedule that. Wait, do we know? is is um well I'll, I'll find out if it, I, I include jason or or probably yep mm -hmm. I, I know there's some transitioning that's going to be happening there but for now i'll just include all pms uh, yep um anything else yeah uh so i had this other question that um in the ux theory that um we are using right now. Uh, this, like we're assuming that the that workflow design is followed by ready for development. And I know I had this conversation with you once, but then again, I saw multiple threads on Slack, uh, like some people again uh, weighing in on this and some sort of conversation. So, is there any update on that front? Like, are we doing it yeah. differently now? Yeah. So the the confusion is this normally. Um, the the uh, the way we would do it is the design is done, and then the issues gets weighted, and when the issue gets weighted, the, it goes from workflow design to planning breakdown. When the issue gets weighted, to ready for dev, right? But a lot of the issues in the past did already have a weight on them um, because we did that even before the design, and so the idea if it had a weight on it and the design comes after, then we would go straight to ready for dev. Um, but, uh, you know, share, uh, you might remember when we talked about it, I said, it might be hard for you to know where it should go, whether it goes to planning breakdown or ready for dev to just ping me and Cheryl uh, and we'll figure it out. In the current milestone, the most recent um, uh, discussion and confusion was in the interest of time, we couldn't get everything weighted before the milestone started. Um, and it was suggested PMs just pick 10 to 15 issues, right? Whether or not they're weighted. Because the, instead of only putting in a certain number of weight, which is we opted for a certain number of issues. So when you finish the design on an issue that didn't have a weight, it, it needed to go to planning breakdown instead of ready for dev. Super confusing. Hopefully in the future, it, this won't happen very often, but it was kind of an exception case in this milestone. But uh, isn't there another round of, of uh, just confirming and checking the weights after the design is ready needed? Because it feels a bit like counter uh, logical to have the weight before the design uh, is ready. I mean, how? Yes. Like, what is engineering then putting the weights on? Uh, 
No, I totally agree, Nadia. I think they were doing their best guess um, uh, based on the what's in the proposal. Uh, I don't I, think we were good at, we were not getting ahead of having all the designs before a milestone started. And so we were trying to do our best guess. You know, remember, this is the catch up period where until we get yeah. ahead, we were doing some of the design at the very beginning of the milestone. Yeah. Uh, and so yeah. they had to do their best guess of, of, of based on what's described in the proposal of the description. What the, what and I guess it should not influence anyway, uh, like the change in the, in the workflow uh, order. I mean, if we are doing with, uh, if we are done with the designs, maybe it still makes sense to assign that to the um, uh, ready for the development or uh, like uh, what's the workflow that, that we are signing the weights. Uh, and then just go through the normal flow so we don't have any exceptions and uh, it's less confusing. And then we also try to learn and follow the proper order. Um, Let me see our yeah. product development workflow. Yeah, I was going to, well, I, it doesn't have it summarized really quick, uh, very succinctly, but um, so. So, so um, solution, yeah, uh, great. Oh, yeah. I was actually working on the visualization for this and it's so much needed here. So after, um, well, yeah, after the workflow design, there is workflow solution validation usually. And then uh, there is a planning breakdown, the next workflow I'm mm -hmm. looking here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, here. here. Yeah, I think it makes sense if we are trying to stick to that. Uh, also mm -hmm. learn uh, in the process, but also like, yeah, I think especially if we have the weights already, just kind of like giving it another quick look, uh, maybe nothing changed, but then we still follow the order and uh, just reinsuring that uh, our previous weight was correct, was having the design actually. I don't know, just. Uh, yeah, I, I think we're just always gonna, um, so we'll just always put it back to planning breakdown and let, let, let Cheryl decide if the weight can stay as it is and she can move it to ready for dev. Um, I, I think the, the, the team, we, we were trying to move quickly before is right after it was designed going to ready for dev because at that point, the waiting was less important if it's already in the milestone and part of the purpose was the weight was deciding whether or not it would be in the milestone. Right, so it was kind of after the fact, but I'll reiterate at the team meeting that um, when the design's done, we always just put it into planning breakdown, even if there's already a weight on it, so that there's a revalidation of the weight. Thanks, Dal. I think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, and another scenario, Nadia, of why something already had a weight in the past we realized it had a weight, um, the, the, it did not appear there was any UX design, UX flow or design needed. And it went into development at the initial stage, we decided actually we do want to have a design, but we didn't go back and remove the weight from the issue. We just pushed it back to, um, to get a design. But then it was confusing. I think when we decided to put something back to design, we should, probably remove whatever previous weight was given to it. Yeah, I think that just like makes a lot of sense. This is natural way to do it because yeah, yeah when the design probably a lot of, uh, well, I would expect some uh, corner cases are visited. That's in the definition of done of UX as well, right? So I, yeah, I would expect changes to the weight. Yeah, um, and then the other thing that I realize later is the advantage of even if there's already a, a weight and they wanted some refinement on the design. So we put it back to workflow design that it's good to always take it from there to planning breakdown so that the SET, uh, in this case, Tiffany has a chance to reassess her notes on what the end to end testing needs to be in case some small, something that we think is a small addition to the design actually has a lot of, um, work to be done to write out the end-to-end -end testing. So she does that when an issue is in planning breakdown. Okay. Um, 
Uh, any, I don't think any, we have anything else on the agenda and we're kind of out of time anyways. Okay. So, um, I, um, I'll upload this to our playlist. I realized last week that I didn't upload the one we meet every other week now for this session. And then in between those every other week is discussion solely on, um, UX research with Lori, um, involved in that one. I'll upload that one along with this video from today to our, our playlist. And the playlist link is at the top of this agenda. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, all. Bye. Get well, Vitika.